Hello, dear traders. You welcome to Insta Forex TV channel with me, Kate Tikhina. The US dollar failed to sustain the upward trend during the Wall Street trade. The US currency has again come under pressure. Today, its index is trading low at uh, near 94.60. The United States and Canada completed their high level talks on uh, how to revamp the North American Free Trade Agreement. On Wednesday, high ranking officials of these countries made optimistic forecasts for New Year's beneficial terms of the trade deal. Nevertheless, Canadian Foreign Minister Christia Freeland noted that some complicated issues have to be settled. Meanwhile, traders have not decided yet which asset is preferable for long positions. This indecision was obvious during the Asian session. The dollar yen pair is extending a steady advance, trading at slightly above 111.60. Retail sales in Japan climbed 1.5% in July on a yearly basis, exceeding expectations for a 1.2% gain. Retail sales slowed down from 1.7% growth in the previous months. The Asia Pacific session revealed interesting market moves. The NZD USD pair tumbled sharply below 0.66. 650 after a survey from NNZ showed that New Zealand's business confidence worsened in August. The Australian dollar has been wiped down by a report on private capital expenditures. This indicator unexpectedly declined by 2.5% in the second quarter, in contrast to the forecast for a 0.6% increase. To make things worse, the number of building approvals in Australia contracted at a faster than expected pace in July by 5.2%, reversing a 6.8% rise in June. In response to the LDUs, the pair dropped to 0.7280. Nevertheless, the pair was able to make an upward correction. Now the pair is trading at around 0.73. Today, traders are anticipating a series of economic data from the Eurozone. Germany is due to release important data on the labor market and consumer inflation data. You are watching Market News on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals with InstaForex.